This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we have a Frigidaire front-loading washing machine that isn't draining, so we're going to be checking the drain. We're going to remove these two screws that are holding in the door lock. And then we're going to pry off the door boot with a standard head screwdriver. We'll pry off this spring clamp, and then we'll pull the boot off of the front panel, because we have to get the front panel off to get to the drain. We took off the top panel by removing two screws in the back that were holding it on. We separate this power connector. And then we have to do a couple, we have to remove a couple of screws to get the control panel off. So we got the detergent drawer comes out. We press down on that tab to pull it out. And that's so we can get to a couple of screws underneath it. Get these screws off here in the upper left and upper right hand corner that are holding on the control panel. And then there's a few screws in front of where the detergent drawer is that you also have to remove. I think I think this model has three. These are all Phillips head screws. You might note though that the ones that are coming out of from underneath the detergent drawer are more silver in color and are stainless steel because they're exposed to a corrosive agent of the soap. So these are a little bit different. You want to make sure you put those back in correctly. And again, they're they're more of a, a shinier silver. And we're going to pull off the control panel, just move it out of the way. And I'm going to tilt this back. I'm going to make sure it doesn't hit anything when I tilt it back to about 45 degrees, just so it's easier to do this procedure. You don't have to do this. This is just something that I do because it's a little bit easier to get to the parts. And we have some screws here at the bottom that we have to remove that are holding on the bottom of the front panel. You can also get to the drain pump from underneath. There's an opening. It's just a bit awkward, so I thought I'd show you this easier method. It takes more disassembly, but it's actually much easier to get to the drain pump. This was a stacked unit, so we took off the dryer. And you can also slide the dryer onto a recycling bin or onto a plastic garbage can if you don't have somebody to help you remove it. We're removing the top screws here that are holding on the front panel. And these screws that are holding on the front panel are all the same size, so you don't have to worry about which one you took out. making sure the boot is no longer connected. And then we're gonna lift up on the whole front panel by about a quarter of an inch to make it release from its clips. And we'll just pull the whole thing off. There we go. And now we have good access to the drain pump. Here it is. I'm taking the electrical connector off of the back. I'm gonna just pinch it, slide it off. And next thing, is I'll put on this clamp because there was a lot of water still in the tub. I don't want that water to leak out. If there was very little water, when you tilt it back at 45 degrees, that should take the water away from this tube. So you probably won't get much leakage. But it is wise to clamp this, this big um, boot if you can, because it'll limit how much water comes out. I'm gonna put down a towel though to protect the floor. And then I'm going to remove the gray tube that's coming out of the side of the drain pump. That's the one that takes water away from the washing machine. So you're pressing on the spring clamp. And then I'll grab that gray tube and just twist and wiggle it off. There's also a spring clamp holding this big black pipe onto the drain pump. Usually that's a spring clamp. In this case, it's a regular hose clamp that you can take off with either a standard head screwdriver or a wrench, which I, I actually prefer. So this is probably one where somebody had replaced it. But the factory one is a spring clamp that you take off with pliers, just like we did on the gray tube. Let's dry up some of this water.
There we go. We'll remove that spring clamp and we can pull off that black tube and then we're almost ready to remove this pump. Sometimes you'll find just stuff caught in here. This is a coin trap that you can pull out of inside that black rubber boot. I'm going to grab it with a pair of vice grips to give it a little bit better grip. I'm going to twist and pull and get this thing out of here. And oftentimes these are full of a bunch of crud like coins and socks and it impedes the water flow. So that's probably why this one wasn't draining. But I also have a suspicion that the drain pump is defective, so I'm going to go ahead and remove it while I have this all apart. I'm just fishing out a couple more coins that were caught in here. It is good to put the drain pump, I'm sorry, the coin trap back in after you clean it, because it does prevent coins from hitting the impeller of the drain pump. I'm removing a couple of screws here that are holding on the drain pump with their Phillips head, and then I can get the drain pump off. Just going to kind of slide it out of its bracket. There we go. I noticed, I noticed that something was wrapped around the impeller. I think that was also impeding uh, how well the drain pump would function. But most likely it was just the coin trap was so full of junk that it couldn't drain. So here's the new one. I'm going to hook up the power connector first. On the back, it's this green wire. There we go. I'm going to slide it into this bracket on the left hand side. And then I'll pivot it over into position. I'll put the screw in on the right hand side. Phillips head screw and get that tight. Putting the hose clamp back over this black tube and putting that back over onto the drain pump. And then I'm going to tighten up that hose clamp. Yeah, I really like to use those instead of the uh, spring clamps. And that did the trick. Got, I got it spinning and draining properly. Hope that's helped you. Please subscribe when you get a chance. Thanks for watching.